Hi to our readers, it's Miss Falco here with lesson seven. Today we're going to be talking about the suffix I-L-Y, Eli. Before we get into that, let's take a look at a video on adjectives and adverbs. So there should be a review. What's the difference between an adjective and an adverb? It's easy. Adjectives and adverbs are both describing words. They just describe different things. Adjectives describe nouns, and adverbs describe verbs. The penguin swam in the cool water. Cool is an adjective because it's describing the noun water. Adjectives describe nouns. What other adjectives could we use to describe water? Now remember that adverbs are describing words too, but they don't describe nouns, they describe verbs. Makes sense, doesn't it? The animal moved slowly. Slowly is an adverb because it's describing the verb move. Adverbs describe verbs. What other adverbs could we use to describe how an animal moved? Let's review. Adjectives describe nouns, and adverbs describe verbs. boys and girls. Look what I found. I found my glasses. Thank you for your help and your tips for telling me they were on top of my head. Now I get to read my board. Then it will help me see what I have written here. So why are we talking about adjectives and adverbs? Well, that is because today we're going to be adding the suffix I-L-Y or I-L-I to the end of an adjective. So an adjective describes a noun, the adverb describes a you got it, a verb. So what we're going to do, we're gonna take our adjective. So let's take a look at the first one. It's easy. Easy. We're going to change this adjective to an adverb by adding the suffix I-L-Y. So now I can read words ending in I-L-Y. So to do that, I'm going to drop the Y. Remember, if there's a Y there, say bye-bye Y. And you're going to add an I-L-Y easily. I can read it easily. The adverb easily is describing the verb to read. In what manner? In an easy manner, right? can read in an easy manner. Good. Do the next one with me. The adjective is happy. Happy. To make it an adverb, I'm going to add I-L-Y. What do I do? Drop the Y. You got it. And I add I-L-Y. 
Say this word with me, happily. She is playing happily. In what way is she playing? She's playing in a happy way. Happily. Okay, next one. Oh, greedy. Greedy, she felt greedy. It means she wants more money. Let's change it to an adverb. Drop the Y, bye-bye Y. Greedily is our new word, greedily. She looked at all her money greedily. How is she looking? In a greedy way, right? Greedily. Good job, boys and girls. Let's do one more. Okay, say it with me. This last word. Busy. The class was busy. Let's change it to an adverb. Drop the Y. Bye-bye. At I-L-Y. Our new word is, you got it, busily. They worked busily. In which way did they work? They worked in a busy way. So we say busily. They busily worked. Nice job, boys and girls. Give yourself a point if you got all of those words correct. Way to go. Okay. Now it's going to be your turn to practice. Set that down. Now, you need your notebooks. In your notebooks, what I need you to do. Okay, here's my notebook, my fresh sheet of paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need to take my glasses off. Okay. Now, what I need you to do at the top, you are going to write lesson seven. You're going to write these adjectives down. Let me see, maybe we turn the light on. And we're going to write these adjectives, crazy, noisy, merry, lazy, and sleepy, okay? Next to, the, next to the adjective, you're then going to write the adverb. How do I get the adverb? By adding our suffix, I-L-Y. Then I want you to read your new word. So your new word is going to be an adverb. Then underneath, you're going to take these new adverbs and you're going to write five sentences using those new words that you just created. So crazy becomes crazily. Now I need to use crazily in a sentence. Remember, complete sentences have a capital. You're big second graders now, maybe even some of you in first grade, and your sentence has to end with punctuation, period, exclamation point, or question mark, okay? So this is the assignment. When you're done, you're going to upload it to your portfolio so your teacher can grade it. Boys and girls, say, I can read words ending in I-L-Y. Awesome, I know you can do it. Make sure when you're doing your daily reading that you're looking for words that end in I-L-Y. And then can you describe, what does that word mean? Can you stop and think, what does this new word mean? Okay, so I want you to be looking for that as well. And thank you boys and girls so much for helping me find my glasses. I always forget I put them on top of my head. So thank you for telling me. I hope you guys have a great day. And we're gonna see you back here on Friday to play a bingo game. Have a great day.